Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another interesting episode on your favorite in uh, Little Sula YouTube channel. So, yeah, every time uh, I will tell it's going to be an interesting video, but this is uh, definitely an interesting video because we're going to see how to create a hair file, a HR, HAR file. And also we'll see how to import that uh, into load, uh, sorry, the Gmeter. And we'll see how to uh, use it, how to create a script out of it. And like you see here, the one that you're seeing in the screen now, so I have already created and I have tested it, so it's working. So, but I'll show you how to create that, how to, uh, first I, how to uh, uh, create a hair file and then how to export it into uh, Jmeter and how to create that as a script. Because like we all know, and this is again one of the requests which has been asked in our WhatsApp, um, channel yeah yes so i just want to mention yeah we are running a whatsapp channel and most of you know because like we have more than 400 plus subscribers uh, who are part of the uh, uh whatsapp channel and they are like helping each others and even yeah I, I just spend some time to um answer the questions share all the videos uh, which we create and share a lot of knowledge so if you're interested please do join our whatsapp channel as well and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel um, and we are having a load on our session this weekend so if you're really interested please do enroll for that as well and coming back to this video like um, i have told you before so we're going to create a hair file and we're going to first see what is a hair file and we're going to create it and then we are going to uh, import it into jmeter because the reason is one of our subscriber and he uh, gets the uh, requirement the files as hair files uh, because that's how the business works so they, they used to get the files as hair files and he uh, creates them he um, runs uh, or he wants to actually convert that convert that into jmeter scripts and then he want to run it so we'll see how to create that and we'll see how to fix that uh, scripts and yeah before we move on to this video um, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and coming back to this video first let's see what is a hair file so hair H-A-R is the short form of HTTP archive format and that is used to track all the logging of a web browser's interaction with the site and hair files can be a requirement for troubleshooting issues uh, and specifically for problems such as performance and page rendering and yeah, we, we are doing it. So we are fixing the performance and page rendering. So that's why we are using uh, the hair files and uh, it's primarily used for identifying performance issues such as any bottlenecks or slow loading timings or any page rendering problems. So how do we get a hair file? That's what we're going to see now. And for that, let me open a browser. So here I have the browser and let me open our favorite pet store. I'm going to enter the store and yeah. So if I want to get the hair file for this particular page, what should I do? So click on this three uh, dot the ellipsis button. Go to the, uh, okay, or else you can do this way, like go to the uh, right click, go to inspect and then go to the network tab and here by default the network the recording will start so the next thing we have to do is like by default this preserve log and disable cache won't be enabled so please do enable them and then nothing else to do here for now refresh this page here and you can see uh, the rec the request will will start to get to load and you can see a lot of pages you can see there are like 32 requests 265 kb transfer 262 kb resources and next thing is you can see there is a import hair file and there is an export hair file it's a sanitized one so just select the export sanitized i mean the download uh, page download section so we we'll just download pet store sorry pet store dot hair so just make sure you are saving it uh, as a hair file hair extension so i'm just saving it so the first step which is um, we have right click in the browser window we selected inspect and uh, I clicked on the network tab in the uh, uh, panel that appears and then uh, I have started capturing the HTTP by, cl by clicking the reload button and then I have downloaded the hair file. I have named the file and then I have clicked the save button. Now the next part is we are going to generate the file in JMeter. So for that go to tools and here at the bottom you can see there is a VDN at GitHub hair converter tool. Click on the button. And you get this pop-up window and here the hair file to load click on the browse go to downloads and get the pet store dot hair so i've got this file now the jmeter script out to write so i'm going to write it as pet store dot jmx so make sure you're um, adding the jmx as the extension 
and record XML to write. So what if uh, if I want to write it as an XML, I can even do it. So I'm going to write the same one. It's going to be store.xml. And then the external CSV file, I don't have any CSV file to add. So I'm just leaving it alone. I don't uh, enter anything. And then here, uh, optional time, that is between two URLs to create a new page. I'm adding a 5,000 milliseconds, which is basically five seconds of response times. And then the page start number, usually we have the partial recording. So I'm going to uh, use one as the uh, page start number. And then the sampler start number, I'm going to again use one underscore. Let me make it as like one, or I'll make it as zero one. Zero one here, and then the regular expression that matches for filter. So, what are the URL that you want to enter? So, in this scenario, I'm going to enter uh, HTTPS um, the but still, I'm just, I'm just excluding it. They are optional, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to add worry about the filter uh, include or exclude, but yeah, in, in our next videos, we'll see how to do that. And then these are the optional buttons. So I'm going to add a pass between the transaction controller. So if there are like multiple transaction controllers, then by default, uh, we can create a pass. And then I'm going to, I have unchecked the removing the cookie in the HTTP header. So by default, that it gets true because uh, you add a cookie manager. And then I'm going to remove the cache header in the HTTP request. Yes, I'm going to remove it. And then I'm going to add a view results tree to view the recording XML file created, but for now it won't get recorded. So you can even see that I'm just unchecking that for now. And then the hair was generated with the load runner web record on transaction names. No, I have not done that. So for now I'm going to just select the convert and load generated script and I'm going to close it because the script has been generated here and we have got the file. The um, file I mean the catalog.action and the all the other um, supported files when i say supported files all the css files and all the svg files so for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, disable the other files i just worry about the main page right and then the next thing is i'm going to add a listener which is the view results stream to make sure that whether my request is running fine or not and apart from that when i create this uh, script from her file by default all these gets created so you can see here v underscore scheme gets the https and the v host just the basically the host is that's to and the port number as we all know it's 443 and then when it comes to the http request default so for any page i'm going to use https and it's going to be pets to octopop.com it's going to be my server name so i'm just parameterizing that as part of uh, like using a user defined variables and then i'm even giving the port number because anyways we all know it's going to be a 443 and then coming to the cookie manager, I'm clearing the cookie for each iteration. And then the cache manager, yes, I'm clearing cache each for each iteration. And then I'm going to use the cache control expires header when processing get request. So these are the things which by normally by default, if you select those options, you'll get this created. And now if you see here, I have created the page and let me run this and see what happens. Click no. And yep it fails right so if, even if you see here uh, you are sending the right request but then why did it fail so we have to find it right so come to the http header manager and you can see here the authority so in front of authority you can see there is a colon you can you have to remove that in front of the method in front of the sorry uh, the path then the scheme then the except so everything else is fine so everything else is good actually so uh, yeah, now everything is good. Let's clear it and when I run the test again, click no, view results tree. See, now the uh, test has went well, the response data, you can see the actual response results. So this is how you, you understand what is a hair file. And the main purpose of it is to, yeah, you all know, to fix any performance issues like bottlenecks, performance bottlenecks and slow loading time and any page rendering problems. And then um, you create a hair file uh, in the edge. I have showed you how to create in the edge by using inspect, uh, using network option, download the file so you get it. And then the next part is you, uh, you have imported, I mean, I have imported the file into JMeter and then I made some, uh, I just fixed uh, the values in the HTTP header manager. So with that way, I have successfully created a jmeter script and this is how you can work and yeah um, again um, thank you so much for watching this entire video 
and please thank me later uh, if you have any comments or any feedbacks please do please please do comment in the comment section if you have any feedbacks or questions and uh, thank you so much for watching the entire video so until i meet you in our next video it's bye bye from us and your favorite that's our youtube channel take care and bye bye